what is going on you guys lyrics here back with another video so guys basically today i'm going to be teaching you how you guys can make really cool and dope flame text on android so you're basically going to require two primary apps one of them being font 2 and the second one is adobe photoshop touch now if you don't have both of these apps i'll leave a link down below in the description so you can go ahead and download it for free so guys with that being said let's get started so guys, the first step is you want to go ahead and hop onto Adobe Photoshop Touch. Once you're on Adobe Photoshop Touch, go ahead and open a blank document. Make the ratio as 1280 per 720. Now once that's done, you just want to go ahead and tap on done right over there and then tap on save. Then you want to export it by tapping on export button right over there. Then save it to gallery, make it a PNG and then select the image and then say OK. Okay guys, after that go ahead and hop on to font 2 and load up the PNG image by clicking on that frame right over there and then just tap on load new image and go ahead and select the image we just created. It's going to be a blank PNG so go ahead and select that. Then go ahead and tap on the pencil button right over there and then go ahead and select the font called luckiest guy. It's going to be a pre-downloaded font. Once that is done, just go ahead and put your text. I'm just going to go ahead and type in flame. Just like that. And then just tap on done. Then you want to go ahead and resize it. Make it a bit big. That looks dope. It looks proper. Okay, this looks okay, cool. Then go ahead and save it. And then you want to help back to Adobe Photoshop. Touch and open up the blank document we created last time. Then you want to add a black background, I, I really do prefer you make a black background. For that go to and, go to fill and stroke, and then make the color as black. That looks cool, then go ahead and check mark that. Then you want to add the flame text by going to your photo library, photo library, and then go ahead and add your flame text. Once you have the flame text, you can just go ahead and adjust it as you want it. Okay, that looks cool. Then you want to go ahead and create an empty layer for the text. So go ahead to the plus mark right over there, go to empty layer and then just you just want to go back to the flame text layer and then go ahead and select the pixels by going there and select pixels. Then you want to hop on back to the empty layer and go to and then you want to go to fill and stroke and this time you want to make the color as white. Then you want to select the type and make it stroke. I really do prefer you keep the width as 10px. Okay that looks cool check mark that then you want to go ahead and extract it out for that you just want to go ahead to the option right over there and then tap on inverse then you want to go back and then tap on clear then you want to go ahead and deselect this flame text layer by tapping the small dot right over there just like that now as we have this here then you want to go ahead and add a really cool gradient to this so for that go ahead and select pixel go to gradients and then you want to add something like this so I already have one but I'm going to create another. So for that you just want to go ahead to the blue one which will be already provided on Adobe Photoshop Touch. Just that one. And then you want to go to that color option right over there. And then you want to make your own custom flame text color. Let it be a bit orange, reddish and yellow. Don't get it to basic white because that looks ugly. You can just go ahead and add your own mixture as per your requirements. I'm going to do so and I'll be back. So guys, once that is done, go ahead and check mark that and then you can just go ahead and unselect the pixels by tapping on the screen. But you just want to go ahead and tap on the FX, then go to Stylize and then go to Ripple. Now on Ripple, you want to make it really less, at least beneath 10. So that looks cool. I'm going to let it like this. Uh, then you want to go to Frequency and then adjust it as per your needs. Let the frequency be beneath 20 and then go ahead and check mark that. Then go to FX, go to stylize and then go to glass. Now you can make the glass effect a bit more but I don't prefer about 100 because that will be too much. So I'm going to keep it at 67, uh, that looks cool. Then you want to give the after effects, go to FX, go to basic and then go to glow. Now that gives you the flamey look. Now you want to make the color as uh, red. 
and go ahead and keep the numbers between 39 to 42 because that what it gives the flame effect as so guys that's how you can make really dope and cool flame text on android i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and smash a like on this video and subscribe for more videos like this my name is leo rex and i'll see you soon bye guys